Today on Courtney Sweets, I'm showing you how we make our hot chocolate charcuterie board. We have all of our favorite toppings and sides for hot chocolate on this board. Let's go. So first things first, you wanna pick out your board. I love using this board. It is so pretty and it's also a Lazy Susan and it has that rustic look from the tree bark. So what we're doing is just cutting some parchment paper to size so we can protect the board and so no candy melts or marshmallow gets sticky onto the board. We're just protecting the board by doing this so we wanna cut it to size. So now I'm gonna fill these little glass jars that I have. These are actually from the yogurt that we get. It's Wee Yogurt um, from Dannon. My son loves it, they're dairy free and we have lots of these jars. So I'm always trying to find ways to use them. We're filling up with dehydrated marshmallows and our hot chocolate mix. This is a dairy free hot chocolate mix but you can put any hot chocolate mix you want in there. We're also using these peppermint meringues that are so good. I got them at Trader Joe's. And then I found these adorable little snowflakes at Target. There are marshmallows that you could put right on top of your hot cocoa. Again, I got more marshmallows. These are Christmas trees that we got at Target. And it comes with these cute and soft, squishy little stars that are red, so red and green. It adds that pretty color for the holiday. Um, but you could use any colors you like. And then my daughter loves Whoppers, so I used some of those. And then some chocolate covered pretzels that are peppermint flavored. They are so good, um, but they are not dairy free. So I can't eat them, but they smell amazing. And my daughter loves them. And then another treat that my daughter loves for her and her friends are these cute little loft house cookies. Um, I found them at my local ShopRite. And then you have to have candy canes. So I have one of those little Dannon jars filled with candy canes that are mini. And then these cookies with like this ganache filling, some gear deli peppermint bark squares and then our snowman hot chocolate toppers these are so fun um, they are perfect for putting right on top of your hot cocoa and just like smiling right at you and to complete our hot chocolate charcuterie board I added in some hot cocoa Hershey kisses um, so this is the perfect board my daughter had fun picking out all the toppings for her to enjoy you can also put in some chocolate bombs we made some snowman hot cocoa bombs and they are perfect to be added but if you don't want to have that overpowering blue in there and just keep it Christmassy you can do this as well like I said you can do any theme colors whatever you like whatever you like to put in your hot cocoa or whatever you like to serve with it we hope you guys enjoy this recipe be sure to like share and subscribe and we'll see you soon with another delicious recipe